Shoes and food. I've noticed three types of expectations that absolutely destroy, hinder, and paralyze relationships. The undoable expectation, the unrealistic expectation, and the unspoken expectation. Now, personally, I believe the unspoken expectation is self-explanatory. If you don't tell a person what you desire in specificity and in detail, how can you expect them to fulfill whatever it is you want them to resolve, whatever it is you want them to bring about, whatever it is you want them to do? You have to tell them. And there are so many individuals that I've had the opportunity to converse with through pastoring that genuinely think a person should know what to do without expressing verbally your heart's desire. I've heard husbands say, man, she's been with me all this time. She should know by now this is what I want. No, bruh. It's your responsibility to express with great articulation and clarity that suits her means of communication, however she processes, what it is you desire for her to do. Because once the expectation is spoken, it can be fulfilled. I've watched women tell men, well, you know, all these years, by now he should just be able to read me. There are certain measures of adjustment and pivot that you can see in a person through observation, but observation alone is not enough. Conversation is still the highest level of communication in your ability to express properly to a person desire. So when people have unspoken expectations and they want the other person to fulfill that expectation, what you're basically saying is you need to be Charles Xavier. I need you to be, hmm, hmm. <laughs> you got to go into the spirit. Oh God, I praise you. Reveal to me what they want. As a pastor, I can't do that to my team, my staff. I can't do that to the church members, those who volunteer, to our music department. If I have an expectation, I have to speak with clarity again in a way that relays to those that are listening to my communication. Everybody doesn't understand communication the same way. So I have those who have to give a visual example to of what I desire to happen. There are others who I have to write it out so that they can read it and process it. Others, I have to use analogies. There are some people that understand direct communicative exchange. I can say something to them and they just get it. But whatever the case is my responsibility to make my expectation known by expressing it verbally. Again, I do realize that as you observe a person in life, you see their evolution, you see their pivots, you see their adjustments, and there are certain things that you can pick up on just by simply watching them. But if you have an expectation, you're delaying the manifestation of the result by simply refusing to be humble enough to express what you want. An unspoken expectation cannot be met. I mean, maybe by time and chance. Maybe they just luckily came up on it. And that's what's wrong with some of y'all. They did it once. They should be able to do it again. <laughs> Unspoken expectations cannot be met. So I've noticed that whenever a person doesn't express themselves and that expectation isn't met, it just ultimately hinders the relationship. It slows it down. Again, I've seen pastors do this. Their team gets up, they do something, they don't like what they did after service is over, they go crazy on them. Y'all didn't sing the right song but you didn't tell them what song to sing. I don't like the way that things went today. Well, did you express in specificity what it is you desired, Pastor so-and-so? Did you tell the group of people that you're over at the company, your employees, those that you were responsible for, what your expectations were? Did you communicate it properly and clearly? Because if you didn't and they didn't meet it, they were never really obligated to meet it in the first place. They didn't realize they were expected to do something because you didn't say anything. So an unspoken expectation it's really just toxic all around. I mean, what do you want a person to do? You didn't say anything. The next thing is an unrealistic expectation. Now, unrealistic expectations are just absurd. And for the most part, people who have these unrealistic expectations, they know within themselves that the expectation can't be met. I've seen so many manipulative, narcissistic individuals, and I know that people throw that word around nowadays, but it's the truth. Those who are self-consumed that place these high demand expectations on people around them that within their hearts, they know nobody can ever meet this expectation. This is completely impossible. It just cannot be done. But I want y'all to do it because of who I am. <laughs> this must be accomplished. It's that Christmas morning thing where you really believe Santa Claus is going to come over the top of your house, land on the roof, come down the chimney and give you everything on your list. Unrealistic expectations, even down to people and how they date. Me and my brother had this conversation last week, how our list is oftentimes rooted in lust. So I want a, a woman 
and she got to be shaped like a Coke bottle. And I need her communicative ability to be at a high level to whereas she is able to articulate in areas that speak directly to my soul. I want her to be the prayer warrior of all life. And I need her hair to be a certain way in the morning and her eyes to never be puffy. And I need her breath to never have an odor or a foul fragrance. I need her to be everything. And you got all this whole list of what you want and you ain't got a job. You missing six teeth in the back of your mouth. You can't chew on this side. You literally still live with your mother and you are 57 years old because you don't want to be by yourself. But you got this long list of unrealistic expectations and it's absurd it's a fantasy world it's literally la 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 you're a smurf you live in a very fantasy <laughs> fantasy, <laughs> fantasy fueled world sir women that do the same things i think in general you have so many people in society that have these unrealistic expectations they have you ready for this unrealistic expectations of god and because we know that God can do all things, the assumption is for us, he will do all things. And the Lord says, everything ain't for you. So there are some things that I'm not going to do because it's not for you. There are some things that don't line up with my will, my plan, and my purpose for your life. There are some things that are not even in my word. Unrealistic expectation. I can do anything. So I start singing, I believe I can fly. And I jump out this hotel window and pow, break all my bones. I'm like, God, God, you didn't do what I was expecting. He did less than I ever expected <laughs> because it was unrealistic, unrealistic expectations, asking things of people that within yourself, you know, they cannot do. I've seen people do that in order to compromise a relationship, ask a person to do something they knew they could not do because they expected them to fail. They wanted them to fail. That was the intention for them to fail. And then they could point and say, see, you couldn't even do what I wanted you to do. You knew it wasn't realistic in the first place. Unrealistic expectations are a delusional attempt to pull from someone a behavior or a result that you know they can't accomplish. And to me, it is a great form of manipulation and selfishness to ask of someone something that they just cannot do. Then there's the undoable expectation. And here's the difference between the undoable and the unrealistic. The unrealistic can't be done. The undoable may be possible. It's just that I can't do it right now. And there are people that get upset with you because you won't do things at the rate, the pace, and the time in which they deem suitable or necessary. They want to make their urgency your emergency. And so they'll say, I need you to pick me up right now at 7 o'clock because I know you got a car and I know you know where I live and I know you can pick me up. Okay, let's go down the list of things you just stated. You need me to pick you up. You know I have a car. You know I know where you live. I know you can do it. Okay, I got a car. I know where you live. And I can utilize my car and my knowledge of your location to come and pick you up. Here's the problem. I'm doing something right now. So I can't do that right now. You can't do it right now. You don't care about me. You don't care about my life and my living. No, it's, it's not that it's impossible. It's just not doable now. It's okay that I can't do what you want me to do at the moment. It's undoable at the moment. So when I say undoable, it's not unrealistic. You didn't ask me something that is completely preposterous that I can't fulfill, but the timing of it is off. And I watch so many relationships fall apart because individuals want a person to jump and leap and perform at the speed and the pace that they desire. You know, one thing is for certain, when I want my food, I want it now, sir. She just worked as well. She's going to make you dinner. It wasn't done at six. It'll be done at seven. You won't die. Go get yourself a lollipop. Go get yourself a popsicle, sir. Go get yourself a juice box and calm yourself. I just don't like the fact that I want to talk right now. Well, he's watching the playoffs. I mean, he can do it, but he don't, he, he don't want to do it right now. He wants to watch Giannis. He wants to watch LeBron. He wants to watch Ja Morant. He wants to watch football, whatever the case. I think, ma'am, unless the house is literally on fire, you can wait an additional 45 minutes. But many people are selfish, and they want you to do what they want you to do when they want you to do it. But there comes a point in your life as an adult, as a mature male or female, where you realize I can't do everything at everybody's pace. Because if I do everything at everybody's pace, I'm going to drain myself. Again, it's not that I can't do it. I just can't do it now. Hey, man, I need you to loan me $4,278. What you need that for? I like to go shopping. No, sir, I'm not going to be able to help you. Okay, I got a better example for you. There are those that have reached out to me and said, hey, what's up, bro? Hey, how you doing? What's going on? Man, listen, I know I ain't talked to you in a while, 
Man, they finna cut my lights out, man. They finna put me in the dark. Why, PJ? They finna put me in the dark. You know, you start crying. You know, everybody start crying. And uh, you're like, okay, well, what do you need? Man, I need $1,700. <laughs> I need $1,700. For a light bill, you better get you some candles. And listen to me. Better open the window and hope that moonlight just shines right. $1,700. Yeah, I just need it. When you need it? In the next two hours. Oh, okay. Hey, listen, man. I um, tell you what. I'm not going to be able to help you. I know you got it. Well, I got it. But you just sprung something on me and brought discomfort to me emotionally. And you want to disrupt me financially for your irresponsible behavior. Well, how is it irresponsible? If your light bill $1,700, it didn't get like that overnight. And if they're getting ready to cut it off, that means that you've had some notices of warning at some point. You just waited to the last minute to hit me up. I can do it, but I'm not going to do that right now. That's undoable for me. Oh, that's just not right. You don't care about me. That's manipulation. Because you're trying to dictate the terms based on your emotion, your feeling, and your need. Not considering the fact that you don't know what I've got going on in my life. You never count another person's money, their availability, and what they can do. That's just selfish. So yes, there are some things that can be done. So when I say undoable, it just may not be the right time for the person that you are extending the request to. Unrealistic expectations, undoable expectations, and unspoken expectations have destroyed so many relationships. And honestly, as a pastor, I get really tired of counseling people who don't understand these simple truths that everything ain't about you. So if you want something done, speak up. If you want something done, consider the request that you're making. Is this realistic? Is this possible? Is this doable? Am I actually capable of seeing this come to a manifested result? Or this doable piece in the sense of everything isn't going to happen on my watch. So if I ask someone to do something, even though it may be possible, at the time it may not be convenient for them. So I can do it. It's just not doable now. And when I got that in my spirit, man, I started living a much happier, more peaceful life, recognizing and realizing, number one, it's not my obligation to meet every expectation because I have a life to live myself. Number two, if I have an expected expectation, I have to utilize the gift of mature communication to express my thought or my desired result. But number three, I just had to realize that some stuff just ain't even realistic. Some stuff we be praying for y'all, it just ain't happening. Lord, I thank you in advance. I give you praise, Lord, that the next first lady of Faith Alive Ministries is Rihanna. Yeah, that's right. You're going to give it to me, Lord. I know she got a man. I know she out here having kids. I know she ain't really living the Christian lifestyle that is suitable to best help our congregation. But I want to give her that word, 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 word. Shows and food.